What's up, I'm Virgil. I'm Gab, nice to meet you. For sure. So tell me about your brand. Uh, my brand is called Saint Dier. It's a Montreal based brand. I started this like a year ago. Mm -hmm. My DNA, I'd say it's really about like the misunderstood youth that, that, that gets carried through adulthood. So it's like every single human has like this part of himself that that's like still part of the youth. And uh, I really think like people should like exploit this. I don't know if you can say that in English, but it's really like minimalistic. You know, there's not a lot of details on it. I, I put a lot of efforts more into like the, the concept behind it more mm -hmm. than the piece itself. You know, with the, I do a lot of videos, uh, shootings, and I, it's really around like the idea that's behind it. That's, that's really what I'm pushing on right now. That's pretty much it. Uh, I, really want, I really like like the, the aesthetic of the youth, like childish drawings, handwriting, you know, everything that's like sloppy or a bit uh, like random or yeah. sketchy, a lot, a lot of sketchy stuff. You do it yourself? Uh, yeah, well, most of the time, pretty much everything I have right now it's from the collab, if from a collab because everything I did last uh, was sold out, so I couldn't bring yeah. my my latest stuff. But this is a collab I did with Andy. It's a it's an artist from Montreal, such as it's a MD like that, such as the the headbands. Oh, so that's a collab piece. Yeah, exactly. So it's Saint Die. Saint Die. But you can But I like it that people always think that yeah. it's Saint Die. Is it like a name of? That's the name of like streets and things in Montreal. No. Yeah. How How do you know that? <laughs> I've been there a couple times. Whoa, <laughs> that's sick. Yeah. That's a, yeah. It's a, It's the name of street where I was born, oh. which is a, a city in France too. Your brand is sort of like the network of your friends. Yeah, yeah. But well, most of all because I only started this a year ago, so. Right now, I'm starting to get r some recognition in Montreal, and they are always ripping it. Where it's like a crew thing. Gotcha. Just kids, like DJs, and I started like giving stuff to, to DJs. Like, I had the opportuni opportunity to meet Lil Uzi Vert, and yeah. I, th that's the first artist I, I, I gave something. But like, you know, he's already like a superstar, so I guess he he always gets some stuff. So it, it's not. I really like want to focus on upcoming artists right now because yeah, yeah. I think they give me more attention and they, they will appreciate it more than a guy who receives like stuff at every show he does, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. Aside from the brand, aside from the items and sort of like the physical product, what are you doing to sort of make a halo around your brand? I think my strongest media would be like the, the videos. The concept that we started a year ago is uh, like every time I drop a t-shirt, I can show you. It's like, the, the, there's a simple drawing on it, which is like, taking this one by example, you know, it's, it's just a gun with like a little smile. It's, it's really ironic, but mm -hmm. we, 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 the, the idea is to like build a video, which is not like most of the videos we, we, we're used to see, which like features the t-shirt. The My idea is really like, we, we don't see it that much, the t-shirt, but we see like a scene of somebody getting shot or it's, it's really about like, the concept behind the drawings, putting like in a visual way in, in, in a video. So yeah, that's really what I want to yeah, exploit. Yeah, like yes, yes, for sure. Well, I'll show you this one. The, the bang is the first one we made. This is uh, the, the bang for the bang t-shirts. It's my first video we did. So this is basically the, the only time we see the t-shirt and it's So you know, it's really like short, short movies, something like which is mm -hmm. disturbing. I really want to like disturb. Like I don't want people to look at my videos and be like, oh, th th these are some great clothes. I, I want them to be like, what the fuck? What the what the fuck? What, what was that? Like, so it it stays in their mind. So that's really, the whole concept behind it is really really that. No, it's videos. super strong. I like that a lot. Do you have other ones? Yes, for sure. Um, this one, I think it's my favorite. It's the late the the, the latest I did. It's called Silly Face, yeah. It's less disturbing, but it's visually appealing. Is that the same kid that was in the other one? Yeah, exactly. 
He's in th these two, the other ones are uh, some other models. Yeah. How did you do that? We, 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 we took like an old um, computer chair and we just took off the, like the, the, the thing, you, you sit on it and put like a, a wooden piece on it and paint it all green. With a yeah, with a green cord too, yeah. and there was a guy that was like super far, and he, he was he was like pulling it, and yeah, he, yeah, it was rotating, and then we we uh, corrected it on the well, I didn't correct it because I, I don't do that, but yeah, yeah no, it's cool. fresh. Cool, thanks, man. Very striking. I think that's what your you know, it's a genre that everyone has like a point of view on. It's like T-shirts and things like that, but you're you're adding more to it by infusing your brand with creativity, which I think is the future of streetwear. You know, from your concept to what you're producing, it's all lining up. So that's like, that's the best start that you could ever have. Thanks. <laughs> In comparison to most, and when I'm like looking at brands and things, like that's vision, you know, that's like forward. So like already into like a new zone, I would say now that you've reached that plateau, bring that energy into the clothes. I know you sort of, and I'm the same way, like, you know, I feel like clothes can only do so much, that's what I do around it, but then that's sort of like a cop-out. You know, if you're that creative on the video, I like the be. same thing that you thought of to paint the chair green, have another friend who's more of an expert do the technical side, it's the community around you that made that piece, everyone should just stare at a t-shirt and cut it up or paint it or look for ways to do what you do in the video onto the clothing, then all of a sudden you have two things that are both progressive. That's just if you feel the passion for it. I think what got you here is your passion to sort of make this. Who's to say that the clothes can't be worse? <laughs> you know, like it could be less clothes. Yeah, it could yeah, be, yeah. the only thing that I want to hear more about is where are you selling and how is it the sale? Like, are kids wearing it that are like not your friends? Well, th this t-shirt here is the latest I, I did. And before that, it was like most of people who rocked it, I, I knew him. But like when I dropped these, I, I, was, I, I wasn't ready for that. Where I was do you surprised. sell it at? Uh, online. online. Yeah, only online. So Montreal, can you ship it? Yeah. Into uh, Montreal or to everywhere? Where? Yeah, mostly in Montreal. I shipped one in uh, California and uh, one in Toronto. I have a website, yeah. I started this uh, this year, but before, I uh, only on Instagram. How many followers on your Instagram? Uh, 680, something like that. And do those people, like if you post something, are they the ones that mostly buy it? Or not really? Mm, I couldn't tell, no, not really, no, not necessarily yet. There's a lot of people that follow me because like they, they, they really like the aesthetic I'm putting on my Instagram, yeah, yeah. but won't necessarily buy. I think the way that you could also you know, see more traction is if you close the loop on your community. You know, I like your Instagram basically being like your website. The Instagram is your community where they can come experience, like regular basis, like experience, and then they find out like, oh, a new video dropped, then the t-shirt drops this day, then I'll go online and buy it. But they should feel like they're almost buying it on your Instagram. That way you just have like a better handle a destination point like if people go to your website you know you never they don't follow you you never know they're just typing it in and going but if people are like into your brand then they start following you on your Instagram then your followers go up and then you have a better metric and then they can wear the items and tag you back and then you can sort of create a dialogue you know more about like putting the people that that support me like uh, on yeah top, you just want to like create a community yeah like rather than the garments just going out and having a life of their own, it makes me think you should be doing like a movie screening every time you do it, not just putting it online. Anything to get people physically in the same place that are around your brand. Okay, you mean a screening is like, yeah, like an event. Like yeah, yeah, people, like oh, it could okay, be at someone's okay. apartment. Be like, yeah. oh, we're dropping. A party, the, like. Yeah, once every month, you know, or once every, so people know, you know, parties are great in current culture because it brings people together and they do what they normally do is just hang out. So if you can intersect that with your brand, but, you know, facilitate it as well, like, you know, there's no reason that you shouldn't be, like, find, like, an up-and-coming artist or an established one and be like, oh, I want to I do a t-shirt and a film in a short, in a non-traditional way for you, 
let's collaborate. Like, you shouldn't be collaborating necessarily. I don't know, you might be already, but like, not even the t-shirt, but like, collaborate with other directors and things. You know, use your platform and sort of break the mold. Don't even like, distill it down to trying to be traditional to make a headband or a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. If it's not really about that, you know, it could be a camera strap, would be a cooler product from you than a headband, in a way, to me, because it like, you know, it can be still both cheap and not really well thought out, but at least it's pro as progressive yeah, as where your brain's at. You know, it's important too, lastly, that, you know, streetwear is always just meant to be a lifestyle thing. It just happened to be t-shirts because those were like the first waves of streetwear. It was like, yeah, of course, we all wear t-shirts. It's never going to go away. You know, that comes from like a longer lineage of streetwear. And I tell the kids all the time, like, you know, your brand's one year old, but it's a different era now, you know. For me, who's inherently like older in the sort of mix, it's like there is no streetwear without community. And now that there's just like the latest waves of like younger brands, you could be like a brand that's like, eight months old but be having revenue that's like you know ten times more than a brand that's been around for eight years but what you can't exchange is like the community that's my first question was like are your friends wearing it like because yeah, cool. you know whatever it can exist but it, for it to be like a a tried and true sort of like brand like I think you want it and like I think most streetwear brands attempt to be it has to have roots back in the actual something that was like a community of people. So I think it's important that your brand doesn't like just live like in your apartment with a few people that you know. Should be out there like. Yeah, yeah, it yeah should, other people should be find like it represents them because it can be your concept. But unless there's like, you know, you're finding ways to do community things where and that just means like four people getting together because <laughs> four people turns into 10 and then you do a party and then there's 30 people and then there's the line and out all the these door. people post pictures yeah on Instagram. exactly yeah, that's like yeah and it's bigger. you know when it's more like this is your community you know you should like in your pitch you should be like i want to represent kids that want to be filmmakers instead of rappers or dj you know everyone wants to be a dj now but if you said like there is a group of kids that are like, hey, I don't DJ, but I'm a, either a stylist or my art director, I want to make films. Like, if you came to me and you were like, I want to represent the next generation of like Spike Jones, you know who he is? Yeah, you should look him up. Oh, he did like those Beastie, he's a legendary- Beastie Boys? Yeah, Beastie Boys, Savage okay, okay. video. He's a streetwear kind of skate guy who, you know, just did like where the wild things are. Like Hollywood director, but like, Everyone wants to be a skater, everyone wants to be a creative director. There's got to be a kid's, you know, every kid that's rolling around with a camera and like, you know, like film camera or whatever, like th that they might not skate, you know, they need a brand too. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. from what I've seen from those videos, whoever those kids are that made that, you know, they should be, I would translate how every kid wants to be like a skater or a DJ or a rapper or a thug, <laughs> and I would just be like, hey, this is the first streetwear brand that's just for the filmmakers and the cinematographers, the, the next wave of art directors. Could you imagine, like, if it was, like, flips on, like, the can, you know, Nikon, like, every, you know, that's how you get the product better, is when this, like, this, t for me, like, this is great, too, you know, it's, it's like the imaginative side of your brain, but it also, you could make a community around, and that's also by concept, like your community, as soon as you, if you did that, like you did camera straps, this whole get up, all of a sudden kids in France who don't even know you, you know, because right now it's just Montreal, yeah. like cancel the t-shirts, imagine they don't exist, or do this. This is good for the film too. This is good for the master class, the kids <laughs> at home. That's how you should have presented it. Like, you know, what's back here is supposed to be with the focal point. And then over here was just about to be like, it's just a laptop. Just just like, hey, there's some probably like weird porn on there earlier or whatever. <laughs> you know, like, oh, and then here's my super content. Like, you know, it's just whatever. Yeah, but no, I feel you. Like you're selling, to me, what your product is, is these videos. You know, that video looks like it's like $8,000. You know, like this t-shirt. <laughs> 
like you could go somewhere and someone will charge you that much to do to do that and the t-shirt is just like whatever you know and it, that's even how you pitched it to me yeah you know? exactly. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. First, so first thing that got when you put this as the focal point like this is new i haven't seen it there's not every kid running down the street saying oh i got another t-shirt you know like there's millions of t-shirts like it's almost impossible it's the most oversaturated Definitely. time of the human existence of a graphic t-shirt you know so it's like it's gonna have to check like so many boxes and i go through like i can't even design a t-shirt anymore because it's like where's the open space to me it's like oh these you know kids can't like i can do that anyone can do yeah, this definitely. but i can't do that you know i wouldn't even know where to start but then when you put this out it's gonna like kids in paris kids in you know Tokyo will be like, damn, like, I've been learning cinema 4D, I love streetwear, but that, you know, t-shirts and all that shit wasn't my wave, I need to get on my film shit, you know? I just don't like that this is so great, what's on the computer, that it's sort of seen as just a promo device. I think it should be the forefront. Part of it, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's the product too. Yeah. Do the, all your friends wear your brand? Yeah, well, most of them, yeah. Most of cool. them. But yeah, yeah, I, I'm a really like sociable person, so uh, it, it's easy for me like to to get people together and like to yeah, let's all go hey, here. Look, look at my look stuff, like yeah, wear yeah. it. And it's cool. And yeah, when I, I was dropping these videos, I was like, I, I was looking at them and I was like, damn, like it's it's quality project, but not not, it, not enough people see them. Like I, I really just want to be out there, and I, I I was trying to find ways like to get some recognition from press and. It didn't work, so I, I, I got informed, and I really want to work like on making mid, maybe editorials, uh -huh. to, uh, because I, I, like these videos are cool, but I have like some photo shoots that are a bit like the, the, the same aesthetic maybe, and I really want to like work on an editorial just to correct me if, if, if I'm if yeah. I'm wrong. But I think it's a good way like to get recognition from photos, press and, uh, editorials, like with stylist and uh, oh like yeah, a well known stylist. Yeah, you should be like an that. art director. You know, you should be. I would do two careers at once, you know, like do this, but use this as your resume for other people to see your work and like do music videos, do fashion films for Essence, you know, something like that. Like my one, my major piece of advice is do six projects at one time. You know, this is like one. Mm. You should be doing five other things. Otherwise you're not doing anything or you're limiting your opportunity for people to see this if you're just focused on this. You know, and you're, you're not expanding your creativity because people just get lazy. And I think back in the day, it was like, hey, work a nine to five. You know, what you're talking about, like the young misfits and how they like get older. I'm that, but I'm the opposite of a misfit. I'm like ultra responsible. And I'm interested in doing things in a sequence, not being more successful. It's well, too you're still things. a misfit. Well, how old are you? Yeah, 35. 35. Uh, most of people of 35 don't live the life you live. Oh, so yeah. You're, you're kind of a misfit too. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And the only way, like why I'm doing this course is so that like two or three right pieces of his advice and the whole scene of streetwear is going to last longer than all of us the current generation which is the opposite of our generation which is like hey it took us 20 years and a bunch of our friends brands failed and got screwed over by bigger corporations and bought out and you know like what's left of rivington street is like only like a graveyard really where it should be the capital of streetwear still is the advice from an older set to like a younger set is do six do six times more stuff while it's young Like if you do six times more things in your year one to two, then you're gonna create something new. Like you'll make more of a fire. You'll figure out new sort of evolutions of streetwear. Well, you say like direct for essence, like so things like that. It's not, it's not that easy to me, you know? It it's, is, see, that's yeah. the, it's literally, that's the, I'm glad you brought that up. Cause it's literally that easy, but if in your brain you're like, it's not, then of course it's not. Like you could literally go there, like as soon as you got back to Montreal, like drive, get in a car, you push the button and you're there. And at the point in which you're there, it's like not, it can't be that hard. It's not yeah, impossible. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like have the right work and show the right people. And like the key is to talk about it. If you're in your brain, you're like, nah, it can't happen. Then you won't even like speak on it yeah. or think it'll happen. But I'm sure... I go to Montreal all the time. I run into those kids. Yeah. Or you know, I'm going to see them later today. They're, they're around. They're super aware. 
I think it's a matter of, you know, that's as well why you have to do six, because like anyone who sees that and has taste is gonna be like, you know, it's modern networking. It forces you to bounce around with six different sets of people that can always refer you and always shape your vision. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's like more large. To yeah, large I just get scared when I see things that are this great and that are just like, or I get same way I get scared at like a kid that's really talented and doing zero projects. Mm -hmm. What is it gonna add up to? You know, you have no tangible project. You don't have one video, t-shirt, photo shoot, product but you're a thinker, you're like way advanced, it's like, it's a waste then, because it's literally like not getting up and doing the work. The only way for, of course you can have an impressive concept after one year, but if you're trying to do it for the, like, to get to where I'm at, you know, like 35 years old, off the same energy, it might not be this brand. It might be the six things that you started now and you went super hard yeah. on, you know. You could be the next Spike Jones. What I'm planning to do right now is uh, I really want to work on an editorial since uh, I think it's a good way like, to get some recognition from press. Here I did a little mood board. No, th this is just a, a mood board of what, what I, stuff I, I think are uh, inspiring. Like, see this is a Lazy Oaths editorial. Like how they, how they got out of the mold, you know, the, the brick berry. I've never seen anything like that, like chopped pictures like that. I really want to do something, n not that, but something that's the same way as my videos, you know, it's it, it's different from what, what what we're used to to see. Like, who's this? Maybe, this is New Regime, uh -huh. it's, uh, it's from Montreal, brand. too. Yeah. And yes, uh, the the thing I, I really want to explore is like the in the same way as my video, like sh don't show literally like the the T-shirt featured, but more like an action. I really want to do this through my editorial or lookbooks or whatever. Like, really show an action, uh, something that get like a vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. Not just about a picture of somebody posing with a with nice styling. You know, I, I really want to like, like a storytelling stuff. It's really about that. Saint Zero is really about storytelling. I think that you should force yourself to never do f still images, or, or if you do stills, they're stills from video. I have a general theory that I can't even look at any more fashion imagery, e e even images that try not to be fashion, because with Instagram. I think, again, in civilization, we've never had to look at so many images in a day. So it's like almost impossible to see a still image and be like, like it's, I think it's a standard. So you'll always have a still image, but I think video, it's like you should study the work of like Nick Knight, you know, like see how deep, do you know who that is? Yeah, these, <laughs> Nick Knight, Spike Jones is your homework. <laughs> yes. Sure. Because when I see editorial, even when I see this, this is great, it's new, but if I saw that on an Instagram, I would see it and I'd just keep going. Yeah. You know, no matter what. We say editorial, it's basically a fashion image. It l dumbs it down immediately because you're looking for something to make it look like every fashion image you've ever seen. That's your checkbox. When in the world, we're already over it. Like, that's more of what you describe for the film is what I would want to see from a still. And I think if you go to still, it's going to go the opposite direction because you haven't learned enough from these like masters, I would say. Not as a knock, it's just like, when you take a still image and you try to evoke emotion, what you described in your video is mm -hmm. like, that's it. You know, that's what the pro most progressive are doing in film, is like, you're like, I just want people to feel fucked up. I don't want it to look like this. It's not about the t-shirt. Can, can I translate this through a, like an editorial? Or what, you can, but I think it's like saying like, hey, you're a conductor for an orchestra. I want you to use this laptop to make a song. Like you're Beethoven. Okay. I want to give you, you know what Fruity Loops uh -huh. is? It's like the program that they make all the trap yeah, music yeah, beats. I, I know that. So to be like, hey, Beethoven, you're awesome. Use this laptop it's and like make a, a trap beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to be, of course it's going to be good. Like he's going to, it's going to be a, a different, maybe an amazing, but you're going to know every nuance. You're going to come up with something that's going to, not, you know, who's to say which one's better, but, that analogy is exactly what I'm saying. You, and you'll come up with great, you should still do it, not mm -hmm. saying that you shouldn't yeah. do it. I'm just telling you, like, out of everything you've presented, what is more striking to me is if, that's, just, that's why I put the laptop up here. It's yeah, like yeah, video yeah. is your thing. Like, you crush everyone. But I, I, don't, I don't even film, I don't, I, Doesn't I just matter, have ideas. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do, I do a lot, but I'm the same way. As a creative, you don't have to be, 
you don't have to actually film or edit. Yeah. It's your vision. Yeah, you know, yeah, if yeah, you're driving right. the team to make that content, mm -hmm. then that's you. It's coming from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a smart. Yeah. Lastly, I'll leave it on that. It's like the modern world. That's where old people get hung up. It's like, oh, if you don't do it yourself, it's not you doing it. The modern world is like if you're able to sort of you're conducting an orchestra. Whatever kid you called up, you had the vision, you know, or even if someone else had the idea for the film, the fact that you put it together in a box and put it under your brand yeah. name means that you're a visionary. You know, that's what that's the new name. It's not a designer, stylist, art director, whatever, who knows what the title is. But just lastly, you understand that. A lookbook is gonna happen. You know, the still but what I'm basically saying is still images from a moving video. That's your that's your photograph. It's gonna to me, it's gonna be like a ten percent difference anyways, unless you come up with some, you should prove me wrong, unless you come up with like, say it was this splice thing, like, that's cool, but if you make this amazing video, and I watch the video, and my takeaway is, is like, oh, these stills from that, that communicate that, then it's amazing. But how can I get some recognition like from the, from the press, or something like that, or what's, what's you, the best from way like, I, I, you, you say the only way you get a still is if I shoot a video, do you know what I mean? Think about it. It's going to be hard for you to yeah. like digest it in this <laughs> yeah, yeah, conversation. It's part of the game, so. But I'm like, the last piece of advice, I keep saying the last, but this is the real take home. For everyone watching this and looking at their own brand, put yourself in a box. Force yourself to be using limited tools. Like, that's why I keep saying, force yourself to only be, lock yourself only into video. Because that's what makes you different already. And if you can do that, what makes you different for longer, then you become the new version, you become the first at it. By limiting yourself to what you're strongest at is gonna actually, you know, allow you to duplicate what you're doing. All right, thanks a lot, man. No, really appreciate that. Nah, I'm excited great. to see where you go from here. Yes.